How's it going, you guys? Scott with Everyday Home Repairs, and a classic issue with bifold doors is they start to come out of adjustment where you cannot close them or they start coming off the track. Here I have two different sets that are closing off a laundry closet, and when I go to open it, I have some movement here at what's called the pivot point. The bracket is actually moving in the track, and as this is a rental property for me, I want to make this thing bulletproof so I don't get calls to come back and have to fix a bifold door. There's two different fixes. One is simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and know what part you're looking to tighten. And the other one is if that's not working for you, you can move on to the second fix. Also very easy, but a little bit more of a permanent solution. So let's jump into it. Solution number one, we'll go ahead and close the door and make sure that the bifold door is in its final place. This is where we want it to stay. There's no interaction with the wall or the other bifold door. And I'm gonna mark the track with a Sharpie so I can reference where that bracket should be because we need to open the door back up and you'll see it does move. So I'll use that Sharpie mark as a reference, getting the bracket back to where I want it. So from the inside, I can use a Phillips head screwdriver or an impact driver and go ahead and tighten up that screw to make sure the bracket stays secure in the track. And then I'll open and close for a few cycles, confirming that. So hopefully that worked for you, right? Here's your track, here's your tightening screw, this is our pivot point, and just tightening that screw, that will then pull together these two pieces of the bracket and then tighten the bracket onto the track itself, these two little ears here on the track. Now, for the second fix, what usually happens is no matter how much you tighten the screw, because maybe you have some deformed ears on your bracket or it's just beat up over time, this bracket will not stay. And that is the issue I'm facing. Even after tightening up that bracket, trying to hold it to the rail, I'm still getting movement there. And this being a rental, bifold doors go through a ringer. It seems like tenants and bifold doors are always in this epic battle fighting each other and usually the bifold doors always lose. So I need to make this bulletproof so I don't get any more calls and have to come over and fix it and that is option two. And we'll do that by sinking a number 12 by inch and a half long self-tapping sheet metal screw through that top railing into the framing so now you will have the head of that screw pressing against that bracket. And I'm using my 7-in-1 Klein Tools impact set, which just like all my other tools, you'll find in a link below the video in the description to our Amazon store. Specifically, if you go to the general tools section, you'll see that Klein Tools impact set. This is super handy because with one shaft here, all these impact drivers from a quarter inch to a half inch go on one shaft. So I can hold that one shaft in my tool belt and then either put it in the handle or run it just like it shows there on the impact driver, which is what I did to drive that self-tapping screw. Now hopefully that worked out for you guys and your bifold door is now solid and ready for years of service-free operation. Now these are solid pine half louvered bifold doors. I do prefer the solid pine. I think they hold up a lot better. But if you have issues where possibly your lower adjustable pivot, the pivot right where that bracket where we're adjusting, or the roller, these can start to work loose of the holes in the bifold door. And before throwing out that bifold door and spending $100 or $150, check out this video right here and I'll show you a simple solution on how to secure those different pivots or the roller for a fraction of the cost. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.